Welcome to our live training session here with our all-wheel drive turbocharged B-Series Civic. We're going to be learning how to calibrate and tune this using a Holtec Elite 2500 system. Let's jump into some details about this vehicle. We're going to find it has a built B18C engine. The engine has increased in displacement from a 1.8 liter to 1.9 liter. It has ductile iron sleeves that have been added, so it's strengthened. The sleeves aren't going to be the weak point. And it's bored out from 81 to 84 millimeter. Now the compression is approximately 10 to 1. It has forged pistons and rods, so the bottom end has been strengthened to handle the increase in power and boost levels that we're going to be going after within this training tutorial. Now the top end or the cylinder head has upgraded camshafts. They're Skunk 2 Pro 1 cams, upgraded valve train, and the head has been ported. Now moving on to the intake manifold side of things. It has an Edelbrock 8 injector style intake manifold, and it has a 70 mil throttle body. Now speaking of our 8 injectors, let's move into the fuel system. We have ID 1000 cc injectors. They're the primary injectors that we're going to idle and start and cruise on. Then we have ID 2000 cc injectors as the secondary injectors that we're going to bring on and boost so we have the best of both worlds. We have good cruising and starting and idling and then we have the total flow rate when we're going to be running our ethanol based fuel here to provide up to a thousand horsepower or more. It's going to be again the best of both uh, combining good drivability and the high fuel flow rate. Now, in addition to the eight injectors, we have dual Bosch 044 pumps. It has external lines and a regulator and a fuel cell, all been dedicated for the specific purpose of feeding this high horsepower engine. Now, on the turbo side of things, it's a custom turbo setup. It's a Ford facing turbo. It's using a Borg Warner EFR 9180 turbo that's twin scroll with a 145 AR turbine housing. It has a uh, up pipe, it has up pipes from the external wastegates. It is dual wastegate twin scroll style manifold. It has dual 38 mil wastegates, custom front mount intercooler and piping. So that's all been custom fabricated just for this vehicle. Now, in addition to all the things that we have going on here, the car is all wheel drive. It has an upgraded twin disc clutch and it has a lot of additional sensors. We have fuel pressure, we have oil pressure sensor, we have a Bosch flat response knock sensor. Um, it has an AM five bar map sensor. It has um, a three port boost solenoid and we have the car running on E85. Now there's probably some other things that I haven't covered or talked about. This is just the general uh, large things that we need to worry about and talk about during the calibration process. So what we're going to be doing is moving now into the very first portion of this video, learning how to create our base calibration file from scratch using the Haltech ESP software so we can begin our live training session. So let's jump in and get started. Welcome to our live training session here with our all-wheel drive EG B-Series turbocharged Civic. Now we just went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our Haltech ESP software so we can create our base file, get our engine fired up, and begin our live training process. So moving into our Haltech ESP software here, I have it open on my laptop. I have the vehicle powered off right now. I do have my USB cable plugged into my laptop, which is plugged into the Elite 2500 that we're using on this application. Now, a few things about this car. It was previously running in a Sport 2000 box. Those are the predecessor uh, for the Elite series. So they're the earlier generation Haltech products. We upgraded it to an Elite to have all the new features and functions that the Elite has to offer. So in that conversion, going from a Sport 2000 to an Elite 2500, there were some pins I had to move. There's some uh, small minute differences between the pinouts. This particular vehicle is running um, one of the universal engine harnesses that Haltech provided with the Sport 2000. So again, it was all wired in, it was all configured, and this was a retrofit update for the Elite 2500. Now, as I was going in and I was going from the Sport system to the Elite system, I had to account for all the inputs and outputs so we can turn things on like our radiator fan or our boost control or working with some of our additional sensors such as fuel pressure, oil pressure. We have to make sure we know where they're coming in on and then what the sensor we're working with is going to be as a, as a function or a scale. So, for example, fuel pressure is 0 to 150 PSI. Let's take a look real quick. I've created a nice uh, Excel spreadsheet dedicated for this car for going in and doing our conversion and just making sure we have all the pins accounted for. So we're taking a look, I have oil pressure, air temp, coolant temp, map, fuel pressure, the vehicle speed sensor, which is the OEM vehicle speed sensor, oil temp, turbo speed, clutch switch, and the knock sensor. And then we also have additional things, again, boost solenoid, thermofan, um, the LS outputs for VTEC and for fuel pump and uh, the coils. And we actually have eight injectors on this car and they're staged. Again, we're gonna get into setting all that up, but we've accounted for everything. All the pin numbers and all the functionalities is something that you have to know in order to gr create your base file and get started. Now, if you're running a Haltech plug and play system that you have a plug and play harness for, 
you can grab one of their base maps from the directory and start to work with that. In this case, this is all fresh and we're gonna go and start a, a brand new fresh calibration so we can go through that process and go through the exercise, making sure everything is 100% on point. So when we start it up, we're gonna have no surprises, everything's gonna work as intended. So the very first thing we need to do is create some of the basic details or account for the basic details that we have for this car. Engine displacement, number of cylinders, the firing order for the engine, what type of injectors we're going to be running, how many sets of injectors or stage of injectors we're going to be running. A lot of little details that need to be accounted for in order to make sure everything is going to work right. Let's go and take a look at how to do that now. Let me jump back in here to the Haltech software. Now a few things very quickly before we move on to doing anything else here. The Haltech box, when it was purchased from Haltech, it's maybe a month or two old um, at the time of this filming. The firmware version on the box was probably about a year old. So I updated the firmware version to the latest that's available right now. We can see at the top. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.